Thank you, Instagram family, for being so patient while I'm trying to work this technology. <laughs> Welcome to Debbie. Welcome to Frederick and Mother's Love. Thank you all for joining me on this wet Tuesday here in Georgia, but it's all right down here in the Success Beyond Strategies Business Tips. First of all, I want to say this. We don't think about it in business, but it is such a huge part in business. And that is making sure that you are taking care of the real person that is running the business, and that is you. One thing that I have learned in my journey in this new rebranding is personal development is critical. You will not be any more successful than you are to the measure of your personal development. Let me repeat that again. Your business will not be as successful or more successful than you are at your personal development. It is so important that you are taking the time to make sure that not only is your business structured correctly, but that you are also making sure that you are structured correctly, making sure that you're well rested, making sure that you're getting sound rest, that you're eating nutritionally, that you're getting activity. I am in a sexy back boot camp at 7 a.m. every morning. You guys can join us. You can check out the link for the Zoom at Magnet Exchange Group on Facebook. We have an awesome time. We are in our fourth, I think, or fifth week now and I am feeling more than a billion dollars. My whole health holistically has changed drastically. I have more energy. I'm more excited about what I'm doing. It just did a whole different thing on my mental. So if you do not have some type of structured system for your health and your wellness, for your mental, we are doing affirmations every morning in our telegram group so that we can encourage one another, encourage ourselves as we're putting in our affirmations. You need to be able to speak positively to yourself. If you are not speaking positively to yourself, you are not going to have a successful business, flat out. And I'm using one of my favorite DJ sayings that I hope he joins me in one of my shows here. But not digressing, I want to get to that point because I want to make sure that you are doing everything you can. Get the massage. Oh, I've been going to a chiropractor too. Man, if you have not been chiropractic, you need to go because that will definitely align you to do some things for yourself, for your body. It will also give you energy. It will also just bring a, a balance to your life. Getting that deep tissue massage, even if it's just once a month. Put these things in your schedule. Put these things in your lifestyle. Put these things in your routine. If you are going to be successful in business, you must have a routine. You should be getting up early in the mornings. I'm, my buzzer goes off at 5.30 even though the Holy Spirit already wakes me up because he and I are just communing and talking and he gives me my nuggets for the day. He puts things in order for me so that when I put together my to-do list, he's already telling me some things that I need to jump on for that day. It is so liberating. I can't begin to tell y'all how exciting that is. So that, that's, that's a whole nother subject, but I'm going to put a shameless plug in here. If you don't have Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you need to check that because you're going to need him. If you don't already know, now you know. Once you put together a routine for your life, when you get up, time that you meditate, that you just have that quiet time, whether it's listening to the rain fall or you're just listening to nature or you're even going out and taking an early morning brisk walk, 
especially if you're in an area where there's a really nice park, there's running water, and if there's some place that you can go to close, do that. You need to do that for your mental soundness, for your emotional soundness. You will see your entire business change its total trajectory to the direction that you really want to go. I'll repeat what's been said to me. If you are leveraging people for money, you are not going to have a successful business. You have to leverage you first. You have to make sure that your goals, why do you do what you do? What is the other motive other than money? Because if you're chasing money, it's going to run away from you. But if you are pursuing your purpose, your destiny, you're taking your gifts and your talents and you're putting them out there and just blessing people. I had the privilege yesterday, I got to tell this. I went to go pick up my weekly water and the lady in front of me purchased my water for me. And I said, ma'am, did you just pay for my water? She said, yes, I did. I said, God bless you, hundredfold return for your giving. And what did I do with what I was going to spend on the water? I paid for the woman right behind me and her groceries. It was such a liberating feeling to be a giver, not having a selfish motive, not giving grudgingly or necessity, not giving because somebody asked you to or told you to, just something that exuberates from the goodness of your heart. I'm telling you, all of this has everything to do with having a successful business. If you are not taking care of the spiritual and the soul part of you, the mental part of you, the emotional part of you, it shows up in your business. Understand, you really have to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Making sure that you have goals that serve a purpose for humanity. Our mentor was 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 in our case this morning. So, well, what is your dream? What is your goal? And we we just had those immediate things and he was saying seriously that's as far as you're talking about what about owning something that especially our culture that we don't own this thing we don't own land there, there's certain differences and changes that we can make that's the purpose for wealth to make a difference and a change yes the change starts with you your immediate family you know i have grandchildren that I'm preparing them for generational wealth and wealth preservation, but I'm also teaching them how to be a blessing to people here. When we teach our children to be givers, the Bible does not lie when you talk about give. When you give, that measure you give, it's measured back to you. So if you sow little, if you give little, you get little. If you sow bountifully, you get bountifully. It's just reciprocity. It's a fixed law of God. It's the word of God. Let's get on that, people. If you want a successful business, these are some of the things, the first things that you need to really take care of first. And when you do that, you'll be able to sit down and with the strategies that Success Beyond Strategies LLC gives you, you're able to sit down and say, okay, I can now structure my business where step by step by step, it's coming together correctly, it's coming together legally, it's coming together where I know I am protecting my assets. And we, we can talk about some examples of wondering whether they protected their assets when they did certain actions, but we're not gonna go there. You already know. But one thing I do want to share on today is a question that has come to me. Should I copyright and trademark my logos for my business? Anything you create, anything that comes from your imagination, that comes from your gifts, from your talents, you should protect it. It's an asset. You are an asset, especially when you are contributing. So yes, absolutely. Did you know that even on a state level, you can trademark and copyright your works but you can also do it federally because federally will cover both federal and state but hey i believe in double protection do both a trademark typically protects the brand names and logos used on your goods and services a patent protects an invention those of you out there that have a witty invention or business idea let's get to it 
let's go. Let's get it done. No more excuses, no more reasons, no more take can't out of the vocabulary because that is not in the vocabulary of an entrepreneur, a business owner, or a person who wants to make a difference in the world. So let's get rid of that. A copyright protects an original artistic or literary work. So for my authors out here, let's get that done. Let's get it going. Copyright your materials, get it out. The world is waiting for you to share what you have been given. It doesn't belong to you anyway. God gave it to you because he counted you worthy as a steward and he gave it to you according to your abilities. Read about the books uh, on the Bible about the talents. God gave the distribution of those talents based on their abilities. So the talents and the gifts and the callings that you have been given was based on the ability that God already put on the inside of you. So no more excuses because leaders don't make excuses. They make things happen. If you invent a new kind of vacuum cleaner, you would apply for a patent to protect that invention itself. You would apply to register a trademark to protect the brand name of the vacuum cleaner. You might register a copyright for the TV commercial that you use to market your product. Did you know that? A domain name is part of a web address that links to the internet protocol address or IP address, which is centered to what instrument you use. I have an IP address for my phones. I have an IP address for my laptops. You have an IP address for your computers they belong to you. Now, for example, in the web address, successbeyondstrategies.com, the domain name is successbeyondstrategies.com. It belongs to me. A couple other connected to that belong to me too, but we'll talk about that when you go to the website. And if you have any questions, if you have any personal issues with your business, I encourage you, please visit my website. I would love to answer your questions for you. I would love to make sure that you are getting your business started on the right track. If you've been in business for a while and there's some loose ends, let me help you tie them up and be a blessing to you because my joy is knowing that you're out there doing your business legally, correctly, morally, and ethically that you are serving the community in which your business resides. That's our collective responsibilities. And it would be my honor and privilege to help make sure that you do that. You register your domain name with an accredited domain name registrar, not through the United States Patent and Trademark Office. A domain name and a trademark are different. A trademark identifies goods and services as being from a particular source, such as yourself. Use a domain name only as part of a web address that does not qualify as source indicating trademark use, though other prominent use apart from the web address may qualify as trademark use. If you find that you are in that kind of a situation, let's discuss that. Registration of a domain name with a domain name registrar does not give you any trademark rights. For example, if you register a certain domain name with a domain name registrar, you could later be required to surrender if it infringes on someone else's trademark rights. Did you know that? We can discuss that as well because we wanna make sure that your unique brand, your unique identity of what God has given you in your business is done correctly so that there's no repercussions on you. You can freely go and be the blessing that you were called to be through your business and that you can make sure that whatever services you provide, you're giving your best, you're giving your all, you're giving of the love and the passion that you have for what you have been gifted and called to do. With that being said, don't want to hold everybody because I know it's probably your lunchtime, your break time, but I'm hoping what this does is enlighten you, especially if you're working on a J-O-B and in the back of your mind, it's like, I can't wait to get off of this job. Some people call it a plantation. I'm not going to go into that either because that's another soapbox for me, but I'm here to tell you that while you're on that job, this is the perfect time to plan your business. 
for you to plan and strategize what exactly is it that you're going to give to the world because you do have something to give. You do have something to offer. And please don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people that's not doing nothing with their life. They can't help you. They just want you to stay in the same place they are. They don't want to see you go further. But change your circle. Change who you connect to. There is so much information out there to encourage you. Other people that are doing the business that you want to do successfully, follow them. Get educated. The university that I attend, the manitexchangegroup.com university, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go on our Facebook page, that you register in, subscribe, because the information that we put out every day is to help you in your business, in your finances, holistically, your health and wellness, your personal development. We are a well-rounded one-stop shop to give you everything that you need to put yourself on the trajectory and the next dimensions of where you need to go in your life, in your business, and just for your person. I encourage you to do that. Thank you for joining me today. This is Lady Vern for successbeyondstrategies.or.com. ORG is coming. That That's just a speaking out that's coming too. I got so much going on that I'm so excited about and I'm looking forward to sharing. But more importantly, I'm looking forward to help you get to that place that God has called you to be and what he's called you to do with the gifts and talents he has given to you. With that being said, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, this same time, 12 noon, same station. Bring a guest. Bring someone that you know that's in business or is talking about starting a business, but y'all don't know where to begin. This is where you can get that start. So I'm here to help you, here to be a blessing to you. With that being said, thank you for joining me. Love you guys. Appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your feedback. But most of all, give me your questions that you need answered so that you can get your business going. Let's get it off the ground. Let's get it done.